So, uh, CSI, some of y'all might know it as Crime Scene Investigation, but another acronym is also known as Collective Survival Instincts, and in this case, it's the subject of penguins. And also, I hope to touch upon the importance of teamwork. And uh, this is based on some recent things I've been watching on TV, mainly planet Earth, but penguins are, you know, are a collective species and they work together, and, and teamwork no less. Uh, sort of the survival cycle of a penguin starts with the males uh, jumping into the ocean, diving into the cold waters of the Arctic as well as Antarctic, uh, Antarctic oceans uh, in search of food so they can store up for the cold winter uh, months to come. And as you'll see in step two, mating, of course, uh, necessary. Uh, Yes, a necessary part of procreation for any animal species. And here you can see a, uh, a G-rated version of two penguins mating. Um, and in the next slide, a detailed look into the mating rituals of penguins is a, uh, well, I had to keep it clean, so <laughs> not that anyone's into that sort of thing. But uh, anyway, here are two penguins. Uh, actually, they call out to each other. There's a lot of, uh, like other birds, they use sort of their sound to attract mates and to identify their partners. Um, in June and July, after uh, the females uh, lay the eggs, the males actually take the eggs and incubate them. Because as we've seen from the first step, uh, males uh, were predominantly the ones who have gone out to feed and store energy up for the cold months up ahead. And here you see uh, a male penguin uh, sort of caring for its, uh, its egg, helping incubate it, providing warmth and protection through the cold winter months. And, um, and it, while the males look after the... Uh, the 2B penguin babies, the females then go off to feed. Uh, why? Well, all right, this is a bit of a lull, but uh, the point is, this is one way that penguins can travel, is they actually can flip 90 degrees and slide on their bellies across the snow and across the ice, which is quite, uh, quite an interesting natural phenomenon, um, something I wish uh, I one day can do as well. And then uh, in the next step, after... Uh, going off to find food for uh, the, the 2B penguins, uh, the females return. And when they return, this is when they kind of look out, uh, they, they call out to find, um, to find where their you know, penguin mates are with the uh, eggs that they had hatched months before. And, and obviously, you know, penguins, they kind of have to use sound, uh, aren't other uniquely identifying features oftentimes. Um, and, and August is usually when uh, the warmer weather is when the, the penguin baby, the penguin chicks begin to hatch. Um, and it's upon hatching that the uh, fathers and mothers kind of care for their uh, penguin cubs, the penguin, oh, not cubs, sorry, that's bears, penguin babies. And uh, looking down, the uh, baby penguin's hungry and all the food and all the fish and all the other creatures that the penguins have consumed are sort of regurgitated. Um, and the penguins kind of eat like from the mouths of their parents. Um, there's a scientific name for that, which I can't call off at the top of my head. But um, so in September and October, before sort of the end of the year, there's a period of feeding where um, the mother penguins, either having processed the fish, having stored the fish in whole, or having partially digested the fish, can then regurgitate the food in order to provide for the baby penguins. And, and this whole time you're wondering, all right, what does this have to do with teamwork and collaboration? Well, penguins also exist in a very cold climate. So the chicks learning from the parents learn from a very early age to huddle together. And if you've ever been out in any cold temperatures, you probably realize that standing close to your friends or others provides some sort of warmth. And here is an example of penguins kind of huddling together, in this case, the male penguins, when they're looking after the, uh, the eggs. And this way, they can kind of share in the energy that they're processing. And ultimately, you know, once the eggs hatch and the baby penguins come back out is when the males go back out to feed. And voila, we have a roughly one-year cycle of penguins um, gone from end to end. And, and here's a picture of some baby baby penguins huddling um, to stay warm. It looks cold, so, and uh, that's, what, uh, that's what penguins do. So uh, this is something that has been inspiring for me as of re events, recent events, to see that together we can. Working together as a team means winning together as a team. Not that everything comes down to winning or losing, but 
you get you get the main gist, right? <laughs> so uh, so yeah, so penguins, everybody, uh, they're pretty cool and they work together. So let's uh, let's try to do the same whenever possible. All right, thanks, thanks, guys.